We're going to take Rex and Willow up to see Halley. Halley's responding nicely to training, especially the sit, especially at roads. Roads are always important. You should always use every obstacle as an opportunity to give your dog a command. This builds a relationship with your dog of trust and communication. And when we get to roads, Halley will sit, but she won't stay sat. Every time a car goes past, she will jump up. It's understandable, she's scared. So I'm hoping being around the older dogs, she can learn a few things. Because like some humans, we're better at learning by observing. By providing good role models for younger dogs, they can often pick up desired behaviours by mimicking. If Hallie observes these two sitting nicely at the road, she'll, she'll understand that she doesn't have to be scared of the cars. So we're taking Hallie out. Let's see if she can learn from the older dogs. Right, sit. Oh, look at that. Good girl. Willow, sit. Look at that. Good girl. Good girl. Ah. And this is what I mean. She's got the basics down, but she hasn't got the confidence. So I'm hoping by observing Rex and Willow, not jumping up when a car comes along, she will mimic this and build confidence in knowing that the car isn't going to hurt her if she just stays sat like the other two. Hallie, sit, sit. Good, good, come on, come on, that's it, excellent. And that's the benefits of having older dogs teaching the younger ones, they mimic. Right, now it's time to come off the lead. Now, before we come off the lead, I want a calm state, calm state. Rex gets it, will I? Pally, sit. A nice calm state. Stay. Stay. Pally, stay. Rex, sit. Good boy. Stay. Stay. Thank you, Willow. Pally, sit. Good girl. Now you can go. Go, 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 go. Good doggos. Good doggos. Well done. And she's six months old. She's learning. Hallie. Hallie. You're a good girl. There is no better teacher to a young dog than an older dog. You want a dog to be independent from you, but you also want to remain connected, like a, an invisible lead. The three most important commands you can teach a dog is a recall, is sit and stay. Why do you want a dog that you just drag around on a lead? Why do you want that? Why do you not want to get to a point where you can walk around with dogs off a lead? Yeah, but my dog's a rescue. Well, I'm sorry, Karen, but when you're going to rescue your dog, you've had it for five years. Dogs should be free. Isn't it, Rexy? Sexy Rexy! It's insane to me that people that drag their dogs around on a lead think they're responsible dog owners. I don't understand it. Socialization. If you're just dragging your dog around on a lead, no socialization, that's no life. That's no life for your dog. They need exercise. This is why you have behavioral problems with these little dogs that are being dragged around on leads because they don't get enough exercise. And those behavioral problems can manifest in many ways, barking at the door, 
barking at the telly, barking at people when you're out, barking at bikes, being encouraged to perform those behaviours by giving them attention at the wrong time. A dog that is getting dopamine hits from being allowed to be a dog is going to be easier to train. Dopamine is a happy brain chemical. By allowing your dog to explore, smell and engage with their environment, their bodies will naturally produce this chemical. If our intention is to give dogs a rewarding life, then their daily activities need to produce healthy amounts of dopamine. A dog that is releasing healthy amounts of dopamine will learn faster. Hallie is going to be easy to train because she is being socialised. She is observing older dogs She's getting dopamine hits from being allowed to be a dog. Right, should we turn back then, guys? We're going to turn back this way. And I should have three dogs. I've just turned around. Those invisible leads are still attached. And I should have three dogs with me. I haven't looked back. There's one in front of me because he's the leader out of these three dogs. There's two. I'm hoping they're three. Oh, look, there's three. But if I let my dog off the lead, they'll run away. Why? Why is your dog running away? <laughs> Think. This dog is six months old. So not only is it not my dog, it's a six month old dog. Why is she staying with me? Why is it in your head, if you let your dog off lead, it will run away? That's your insecurity, that's your anxiety. You need to sort out your neurosis to become more confident. <gasps> oh no, I have to talk to people in public. No, I'd much rather just keep my dog on a lead and walk around the block. Oh! Yeah. Now your dog's got neurosis. You making excuses. Yeah, but my dog was attacked as a puppy. Oh! Excuse. My dog's a, a rescue. Excuse. My dog doesn't like big dogs. You don't like big dogs. You guys with these dogs that are not allowed off lead and you make excuses. You need to stop. Stop it. Get some help. Now think of it like this. You're basically putting your dog in charge. When your dog is barking at that person that's going past on a bike, they're doing it because they're protecting you. Because you're not telling them otherwise. You're giving them the idea that you're scared of that person on the bike. So they're doing their job. They are creating their own dopamine hits, becoming addicted to bad behaviour because it's their only access to stimulation. Stuck on a lead with no exercise, no socialisation, no meaningful activities, no meaningful communication. It's like feeding a child junk food and sticking them in front of an iPad. It's irresponsible and it's lazy and you just give yourself all the excuses. I'm in control of these three dogs. Well, I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just being here. But they trust me that I'm in control. They don't have to do anything. They just look at me and go, you all right with this? Yeah, I'm cool with this, guys. Onwards. I don't go, oh God, uh, I've got to put them on the lead. Wait, wait one second, guys. I'm going to put you on the lead. Excuse me, excuse me. Can you put your dog on the lead? Oh my God. Oh. Does that sound like someone that's in control? So we're coming up to a road. Time to get the leads back on, guys. So, Rexy. Sit, mate. Good boy. Willow. See, look, Hallie's already, already coming up to me. She's observing. I haven't even called her name yet. Hallie! Hallie! 
Good girl. Hallie's dopamine levels are high, making her more alert, more attentive, and easier to train. Six months old, guys. No time like the present. I'm not letting my puppy off the lead. They'll run into a road. Your own insecurities are getting in the way of your dog's life. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Introspection. Human neurosis. Right, so we're going up to the road. I'm hoping it'll be as good as coming the other way. Sit. Rex, sit. Rex, sit. Hallie. Did you see that? See, I told Rex off for not doing what he was meant to do. Sit, sit. All I had to do was say, Hallie. And she knew exactly what she needed to do. Yes, sir. Oh, brilliant. So this is where she'll jump up. She's not jumping up. Observational learning. She would usually be scared by the cars going past, but she's seeing these two still sat down. She's seeing that they're not scared. So she has nothing to be scared of. She's learning. She's learning from them. There's no better teacher to a younger dog than an older dog. Sid. Willow. Good girl. Come on then, let's go. That was good, wasn't it, guys? Teaching the young'uns. She did really well today. She's coming along nicely. Well, thank you for watching, guys. If you did enjoy it, thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll make more of these long-form videos. I do enjoy making them. So, until next time, onwards. <laughs>